everyone, welcome to yoga. We're gonna have so much fun today. Since we're gonna be having a lot of fun, it's really important that we go over a few simple yoga rules before we get started. Nod your head yes if you know how important it is to follow rules. Good, so the first rule is to stay in your safe place, either your yoga mat or the area around you, and to respect the friends that are next to you to stay out of their space. Rule number two, we are only going to use kind words and kind actions to our friends and towards ourselves. Rule number three, if it hurts, don't do it. We need to listen to our bodies. If we do a yoga pose and it starts to hurt, do we keep doing it? No, good. And the last rule number four is to know that your yoga pose is going to look different than my yoga pose. And your yoga pose is gonna look different than the way your friends do their yoga pose. And this is okay, we're just gonna do our best. Okay, let's get started. We're going to start in Thunderbolt Pose. So sit on your heels, place your hands on your lap, and the first breath we're going to do is called the B breath. So what that looks like is this. We're going to breathe in really deep, as deep as we can, and then we're gonna put our teeth together and make a buzzing sound as we exhale. Zzzz. Wait, don't do it yet. You have to wait for me. Now, here's the trick. You can't keep breathing in and breathing out. Only one long breath and see how long you can do it over time. So ready, deep breath in, breathe out. job that was a long time wasn't it now now the second time we're gonna do it we're going to close our eyes so take a deep breath in close your eyes bring your teeth together and buzz Was really good. So, did you notice the difference this time when you had your eyes closed? What did it feel like? Could you hear yourself more? We're gonna do it one more time, but this time we're going to place our hands over our ears. So, get ready, take a deep breath in and buzz. What was that like? Did you notice any difference? Did it sound like you could hear it inside your head more? That's what it felt like for me too. That was fun. Let's bring our legs out in front of us. We're gonna do popcorn legs. So just get some more energy out. Just bounce your legs like popcorn. Bounce them, bounce them, bounce them. Don't go too crazy, don't hurt your legs. Just bounce and get that energy out. Move the legs, good. And slow it down. I think the popcorn is almost done. Good, I love popcorn. Bring the bottoms of your feet together. Bring your knees out to the sides, kind of like a butterfly, except we're not going to bounce our butterfly. We're just gonna hold on to our feet and we're gonna try to relax our knees towards the ground as much as we can. Even if it's not very far, that's okay. We're just going to keep the legs soft and we're going to do a few belly breaths here. Take a deep breath in and when you breathe out, see if you can soften your legs a little bit more. Notice where you're feeling the stretch. Most people will feel it on the inside of their legs, but if you feel it in other places, that's good too. We'll take one more breath here. Breathe in real deep. And then breathe out. 
Good. Use your hands to safely bring your knees back together. Let's go to our hands and knees. We're going to do what's called the cat pose. And what that looks like is when a cat arches its back, it pushes its hands on the ground, dropping its head, making the back nice and tall. I know you guys have seen a cat do this before. And then we are going to drop the other way. Stick our tails up in the air, stick our chins up in the air, and make our bellies drop towards the ground. And the next time you breathe out, round your back again like a cat. You can even hiss like a cat, meow like a cat. Breathe in and drop your belly. Breathe out, arch your back. One more time, we're gonna breathe in and drop the belly. And then breathe out and arch the back. And then we're gonna make our back nice and flat like a table. And have you ever seen a cat play with a ball of yarn? Because that's what we're gonna do next. We're still cats. I want you to take your one hand, pretend you're playing with that ball of yarn and then throw it under your arm and chase it under your arm and then rest your head on the ground. Your knees stay on the ground and we take one breath here. Breathe in real deep. And that poor ball of yarn, well, we're never gonna get it. Let's get another ball of yarn and do it on the other side. So, so throw that ball of yarn up in the air, catch it, throw it under the other arm, rest your head on the ground. You can even wag your tail like a cat does. Lick your arm, lick your paw like a cat. Take a deep breath in here, breathe in. And breathe out. Do you feel your back stretching? Me too. Come back to your hands and knees. And this next pose, we're gonna have to find a focus point, and a focus point is very important when we're doing yoga. We stare at one little spot on the ground. So find your spot, a little piece of dirt, a little piece of carpet, a little piece of fuzz, it doesn't matter. Now I want you to take your right leg out behind you. Just stick it out straight, not up in the air. We wanna just stick it out straight. And then your opposite arm, bring that out in front of you and see if you can balance. Remember, we use our breath to help us balance. And now we've learned that we can use a focus point to help us balance too. One more breath. Good. Can you bring your knee and your elbow together? See if you can do that really slow. Take your time. If not, that's okay. And then bring your hand and your knee back down to the mat. Let's do the other side. We want to stay balanced. Take your other leg, your left leg out behind you. Point it, make it nice and long. Have your focus point. Now your right arm, your opposite arm is gonna go out in front of you. Make your leg nice and strong. Use those muscles in the back of the leg. Very good. Now see if you can touch your knee and your elbow together without tipping over. If you tip over, it's okay. Keep your focus point and your breath. Good, now bring your hand and your knee back down to the mat. Very good, let's go in a child's pose. Take your knees far apart, sit on your heels, rest your head on the ground, and grab the bottoms of your feet. <sighs> Very good, let's rock a little bit back and forth. And then we are going to bring our hands down to the ground. And we're gonna come back up to our hands and knees and then I want you to take your forearms, which are this part of your arm, onto the ground. Interlace your fingers, so bring your fingers together like this. And then instead of downward facing dog, we're gonna do what's called dolphin. So we curl our toes under, we make our arms really strong, and then we lift our hips up to the ceiling. Good, and we can even walk our toes a little bit closer to our face. This is really difficult, isn't it? Let's breathe. Let's see if our breath can help us through this. Ready? The next time you breathe out, let's widen our feet. Make them real big. And then bring our hands to the ground and walk our hands towards our feet. 
and see if we can grab our feet and just stay in what we call a wide leg forward bend here. And we're going to sway our head just a little bit. Good. And can you bend your knees and make your knees really bouncy? We are going to bring our arms up. Palms together, bring your hands in front of your heart and we are going to hop to mountain pose. Good job. Go ahead and shake your arms and legs out a little bit. And I want to show you what is called the geyser pose. Do you know what a geyser is? A geyser is water that builds up pressure underneath the earth. And once that pressure gets really, really, really strong, it explodes out an opening of the earth. Now sometimes I get angry and I feel like I'm going to explode. But if I do this geyser pose when I'm not really angry, maybe if I'm just a little bit upset, it helps me a lot. So here's how it works. I want you to think about something that might be bothering you, something that happened today, something that happened a long time ago. Maybe you fought with your sister or your brother or you had to do a chore that you didn't want to do or maybe you had a tough test that you had to take and it made you upset. So we're just going to think about that, anything that has made you upset or angry. And we're going to feel it from the bottom of our toes. And we're going to feel it rising up and building pressure and pressure until it gets all the way up to our heart. And it explodes and we let it go. And then we got to wash it away. So take your arms and wash that yucky stuff away. Doesn't that feel good? We're going to do it one more time. So slow down your swing, hop your feet back together. Maybe think of the same thing or something different. You can do this with the same thought as many times as you need to until you feel better about it. So let that thought start to bubble up and get really strong. And you feel it reaching up your legs, passing your knees, your thighs, your belly up to your heart until it explodes out of your body and then we wash it away. Good. Whew. That was a good release. I feel so much better. Do you? Hop back to mountain pose. We're going to do one more pose today and then we're going to play a game to see what we've learned so far. So bring your legs out really wide. Good. Not wide enough to where you're going to fall over. Just like this. And then bring your toes out to the side. Keep your front leg straight and then reach as far as you can away from your waist. Reach, 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 and then drop your hand down to your leg. And then you can bring your left fingertips up to the ceiling. Good. And if you want a balance challenge, you can look up to those fingers or you can just look down to the ground or wherever your neck is comfortable. Very good. Take a nice deep breath here. And then bend your knee and then pop back up. Bring your toes forward again and we have to be balanced, right? So we're going to do it on the other side. Your left toes are going to point away from you. We're going to reach with our left fingers as far away as we can from our waist. Reach, reach, reach and then drop your hand down. Right fingertips go up to the ceiling. This leg doesn't bend. We look like a triangle. This is called the triangle pose. Good. Take a breath here. Look up if you want a balance challenge. And then bend your front knee. Pop back up. Bring your toes forward and hop back to mountain pose. The last thing we're going to do before we do our relaxation is a game called rocks, paper, scissors, but it's the yogi version. So this is rocks. This is paper. This is scissors. Good. Now find a partner. As soon as you have your partner, you're going to play rocks, paper, scissors. And I think you guys know the rules of the rocks, paper, scissors game. You're each going to take a turn of doing rocks, paper, scissors, and it's the same rules that apply for regular rocks, paper, scissors. Whoever wins or loses, it doesn't matter. You're going to each take a turn of showing the other person, your partner, a yoga pose that you've learned so far. So go ahead and face your partner and begin. I'll wait here until you finish.
Okay, time is up. I hope you each got to do at least one pose. We're gonna take it back down to the mat. So go ahead and sit down. Back to crisscross yogi saw, so back to easy pose. We're gonna do one little twist and then we're gonna do our relaxation. So take your right hand, opposite knee, so left knee. Breathe in real deep, nice and tall. Exhale and relax. Look over your shoulder. Feel the twist happening in your back. Feel your spine twisting. The spine is a very important part of our body. We need to take care of it and make it move in different ways. Come back to center. Breathe in really deep. Take your left hand to your right knee. And as you exhale, look over your shoulder. Feel your spine twisting in the other direction. And then breathe in. Nice and tall. Exhale, come back to center and lie down either on your back, your side, or your belly. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, I want you to pretend that your body is like a plate of wet spaghetti noodles. That's how relaxed your muscles are. Close your eyes and just listen to the song as you relax. Bend your knees. Roll onto your side if you're not on there already. Relax here just for one breath. And then use your strong arms to bring you back up to any seated position you like. Nice and slow. You can keep your eyes closed. Bring your hands together in front of your hearts and repeat after me. I am peace. I am love. I am joy. Namaste. Excellent job today, yogis. Have a great day. Make it the best one ever. <laughs>